Hello friends, Ashish here from Guiding Tech and welcome back to How To Mondays. Now in this quick video tutorial today, I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic pin lock on your Android device with even changes per minute and makes the security of your device unbreakable. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. So friends, the very first thing that you'll have to do is download an app called Droid Lock Dynamic Lock Screen. Now this app is still in the beta state, so you might have to uh, enroll yourself in the Google Plus community. But if you don't want to do that, don't worry, I'll provide you with the APK download link in the description of the video. So that you can just go ahead and sideload it on your Android. Now once you have done, just open up the app and there will be a disclaimer that you'll have to go through. And on the next step, you'll be asked to set up a master pin. Now, every time your phone reboots, this master pin will be used to unlock your device. So it's very important that you set it to the one that you remember. The next is it will ask you for a security question and an answer along with an email address, uh, which is also a fail safe, uh, just in case if you forget your master pin. Now let's let me put a default value over here and go ahead. Now. Just to be sure that nobody else is able to uninstall the app, you'll have to activate device administrator and once it's done, you're all set. So now, here's the thing that you'll get after you have enabled Droid Lock on your device. Now you'll see time, date, battery, geek, add-ons as a different uh, tabs you can use to generate dynamic pin. So as you can see here that the default pin at the moment is 1234. But if I enable the time pin, it will give me like 1226, which is the time at the moment. Now, if you go for the 24 hours, it's not going to make a difference because in 24 hours also it's the same time. But enable offset minutes and you can add an offset value uh, to this particular pin. So let me just show you. So here's the default offset value that I can add and I'll just add 5. If I add 5, it will add 5 to like 12.26 and it will be 12.31. So it's kind of a thing that you'll have to calculate a few things before you unlock your device but it's for your security. Same goes with the date, if you enable the date, it's the 16th of May, that will be your pin. And if you include the year, it will be a larger like 16, 5, 16 and this particular pin will change every day. And about the time, it will change every minute. The battery pin will uh, like tell you the 26 percentage of batteries there and like reciprocate it for like 4 pin. So if it is 25 percent it will be 25, 25 and so on. So time, date and battery are the three, I mean the easier way to unlock your device using a dynamic pin. If you go forward to the paid feature like the geek or the add-ons, that's where the thing starts to get interesting. Now if you enable the geek pin and go to the set geek pin option you can choose anything like date month year battery so if you want a uh, date combined with the battery uh, and it will just show you a default value that the pin would be at the moment so it's 16th of may with a 26 percent of battery so that's how things will go now you can add twice the battery or even add a constant to it and this will only help you to make your pin uh, i mean tough to lock but still you'll have to work a lot to unlock your phone yourself so let's just make uh, keep it easy like it's the date and the battery and tap on the check sign and then go back so as you can see that the pin shows now it's 1625 so let me just go ahead and try to unlock your device in front of you so here's the pin lock screen and uh, it's 1625 and it unlocks on under the add-on you can enable the add-ons say double pin it will like 1625 1625 mirror pin which will again make it easier i mean tough for you to unlock and also for the intruders to guess the pin so guys that was pretty much about droid lock and you can explore it yourself to find uh, i mean a better pin that you can set on your device do let me know in the comment section what you think about the app and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do hit that subscribe button right now this is ashish from guiding tech and I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day.